Look at this trio I have here for you. Three Pomeranians. Start with the first one on the left here. This is Tinks, ID number A4866125. The middle we have Finnegan, ID number A4866126. And on the far right, Ingrid, A4866127. And I'm going to do this individually since they all have such varying information. Uh, Tinks here on the left is a nine-year-old female uh, cream-colored Pomeranian came to the Baldwin Park Animal Care Center as a stray on Baldwin Park uh, from Baldwin Park on August 13th. Tinks weighs about six pounds um, and she's a pretty awesome dog. Uh, she's very bonded with her pals here, very friendly, uh, she's confident, a very sweet dog, low energy, and of course, you, I mean, what would you expect? She's a nine-year-old. Uh, getting close to the senior age, uh, but of course that doesn't mean that uh, anything is over because nine nine years is middle age for a young uh, for a small pup like this. Um, she's definitely the lap dog. She's happy to sit here in her volunteer's lap for you know as long as you'll let her. Um, she does walk okay on leash, um, but she is very eager to be with her uh, buddies over here. So it's safe to say that um, well at least with these dogs she gets along well with other little dogs. Um, it does seem that Tinks will need to be adopted on a health waiver uh, due to some medical issues. She has a few mammary tumors um, and has a luxating patella grade 3. Um, and it was recommended in her medical notes that it get looked at when she gets spayed. Um, but it's unlikely she will get spayed here at the shelter since uh, because of her age. Um, so once she is adopted on the health waiver, um, she would need to see a vet within 24 hours so that they could take a look at these tumors and the luxating patella and then go from there on uh, whether she will get spayed or whichever uh, method is best for her. Um, so let's see, that is Tinks. So in the middle here, we have Finnegan, he's a five-year-old Pomeranian, uh, male, also cream-colored, and also came in from Baldwin Park as a stray uh, on August 13th. He weighs about nine pounds, a little bit bigger than Tink's. Um, he's definitely a well-mannered guy. Uh, he's a bit scared here at the shelter, but he has warmed up since coming out, and certainly being surrounded by his buddies has really helped him a lot as well. Uh, he's definitely bonded with them. They're, they're, all three of them really love each other. Uh, he's definitely got this great lower energy. Um, we think that he would be best in a household with older children, just because he's a little scared and it would be better for him to be around um, older people who can respect his, um, his shyness. Um, he is a lap dog. He's not in a lap currently, but he was a minute ago, and he will be happy to sit in one if offered to him. And he does love being held much more than walking on a leash. Um, uh, it is clear, I mean, it's, it's unlikely these three were strays since they look so much alike, so it's most likely uh, that they all three of them were left here by their for former owner, and he is definitely missing them. Uh, and he's also had his nails trimmed since he's been here, and he was great, and uh, I'm not sure who may know this, but when a dog is great getting his nails trimmed, that's a pretty dang good uh, mannerism right there, because that's hard to find. Something they usually really don't like, but he was awesome. So Finnegan's great. Great temperament. Good low energy. Uh, and then finally on our far right here we have Ingrid, seven-year-old female cream-colored Pomeranian, also a stray from Baldwin Park, came in on August 13th with her buddies here. Gorgeous girl, um, she's definitely bonded with the other two. Um, she's also a bit scared here in the environment, but she's been feeling a lot better with company from her, her buddies and from our handlers. Uh, clearly a lap dog, I don't even have to tell you that. Uh, great low energy. Um, very sweet, likes being held, likes being petted. Again, we think she'd be better in a household with older children at least until she can feel a bit more at ease and uh, opened up. Uh, these dogs are definitely the type that we see often uh, left here by owners and confused to this scary surrounding. Um, but we expect once they are adopted or rescued that they will feel a lot more happy and confident. Um, and, you know, will probably fit in a lot better with various types of families with kids. Um, but for now, we'd love to see them go into a home with understanding folks who understand that uh, they need a little bit of time to feel a bit more at home and at ease. Um, but they look like they're great dogs, lots of life and love left to give. Uh, and they're available here at the Baldwin Park Shelter. Again, this is Ingrid on the far right. Uh, Tinks on the far left, and then Finnegan in the middle. A three pair, a uh, trio here uh, who came in together and are looking for a home. We'd love to see them go together, but we understand they could also uh, be rescued or adopted separately if need be. Uh, but they need your help. 
Um, they're looking for new homes, and so come on down and meet them. They are sweet and wonderful and just beautiful. You see dogs like this all the time at the shelter. You do not have to go to a pet store or a breeder, so adopt, do not shop. Bye guys! So cute!